My name is Eric, and I am from the circus. It's true. I was going to do a, a, a cartwheel to get onto this red dot, but I decided to, to leave that out at the last minute. I want to tell you about science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Those four letters have motivated everything that I've done for the last five years. Now, my job, I am a roboticist. Now, you might think that that means I make robots. But actually, the story is a lot weirder than that. So it turns out that about five years ago, I was working in a perfectly ordinary engineering job. Well, I guess it's as ordinary as it gets. I was building robots for a government contractor, giant, intelligent robots for the military, you know, as you do. And I loved my job. This is what I trained for. I went to school, and I did robotics, and I was so excited to be working in the real world on the thing that I loved. Now, let me tell you about what I love about robotics. I love, what I love about robotics is that I get to use the three things in engineering that I love the most. Computer science, I get to program computers. Electrical engineering, I get to do electronics. And mechanical engineering, I like to work with my hands. And in robotics, you can do all three of those things. If you have a problem in computer science, don't worry about it. Fix the problem in electronics. If you have a problem in mechanical engineering, that's OK. You can write some software to work your way around that problem. So all day long, I was putting everything I learned to use. But there was something missing. And every night, I would go home, my brain bursting with the things I was learning in this job that I loved, and I would tinker in my garage. I would sit there, and I'd go out to my garage, and I'd just make stuff. And because I was solving real-world problems during the day, the things that I worked on in the evening, I wasn't really solving problems. I was just playing. I was just doing what I loved, engineering. You know, engineering, it involves math and science. So I was putting all this stuff to use in really interesting, fun ways, ways that just satisfied my natural curiosity. Well, it turns out that I wasn't the only one working in a garage by themselves making weird stuff. It turns out there were other people in other fields that were doing the same thing. There were graphic designers and physicists and video game designers. And over the course of a couple years, we found each other. Because we just liked to show off what we were making. What we were doing, and we didn't realize it at the time, is that we were making art. And so as we found each other and as we started to collaborate, we started to ask ourselves, why are we doing this? What, what's the point of this? Why are we building this stuff, and what will come of it? And what ended up happening is we decided that we could share our love of science, technology, engineering, art, and math with the entire world. And that's what I want to tell you about. We are creating something called the STEAM Carnival. That's science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And through the STEAM Carnival, we hope to share what we find to be the most fun undertaking you can possibly do, making stuff. Share it with the world. So how are we doing that? Well, did I mention it's a carnival? Have any of you been to a carnival, like a real carnival? Oh, sweet. Anybody have a favorite game? I like the ring toss, personally. Yeah, right, we've all got our favorite games, right? They're all really physical games. You're throwing a bean bag or a ring toss or shooting hoops, right? I love the carnival. Guess what? We're throwing away all those games. Sorry. And we're replacing them with really high-tech versions of those games. Because what we want to do is we want to demonstrate how engineering can be incredibly fun. So what are we doing? Let me tell you about a couple of our games, just to, to whet your appetite for what might be coming to town. So have any of you ever gone to an arcade and played that claw game? Yeah, you know the claw goes around? Everyone's played this. Has anybody ever won a stuffed animal? I, I never win the stuffed animal. You know, why, you know why you never win? Well, you know why I never win the stuffed animal? I learned something terrible, and I'm going to let you all in on a secret. 
it turns out that there's a knob in the back of the machine that makes that claw game wigglier. Ooh, that's no fun. Well, so we decided to make our own claw game, our own robot, which is six feet long by three feet wide and is deadly accurate. None of this wiggling around stuff. Now, we built a real claw game, but the difference is the things you're trying to capture with the claw aren't passive stuffed animals. They're robots that are actively trying to evade you, right? So they're running away, and you're chasing them around with this giant, deadly accurate claw machine. So robots. We get to play with tons of robots. Did I mention lasers? We get to play with lasers, too. So check it out. We've got this thing called the laser maze. And in the laser maze, we shine lasers through a corridor. And your goal as a player is to duck and dive and leap and jump all over these lasers and get from one end of the corridor to the other end of the corridor as quickly as possible. And back. Back is important. More lasers. Remember the ring toss? I love the ring toss. That's my favorite game. So we just made a new ring toss game, which will blow your mind. We use lasers projected on a wall, and then a whole room full of kids all grab tennis balls and footballs and basketballs and throw them at the wall as fast as they can, trying to hit as many of these projected laser circles as possible. And the way we did this is by dismantling an Xbox. Everybody's got Xbox, right? Close. No. Oh. I heard some passionate no's in the crowd. Well, anyway, I don't have Xbox. I only have the camera that comes with it, because we use the Kinect camera all over the place in our projects. So what else do we got? Anybody ever done the high striker? Bam! Well, we got rid of all the, you know the dinger? What's the thing that makes the ding at the top? Is, is it the dinger? I'm going to call it the dinger. We got rid of that. And we replaced it with high voltage electricity, 20,000 volts of electricity. And now when you hit that thing, when you hit that pressure sensor, what goes up is a bolt of high voltage electricity, as high as it is that you hit that thing hard. So what's happening in this carnival? Well, we're taking all these games, and there are more. Believe me, there are more. And we're taking them on the road. We're going to start in Los Angeles in the spring of next year, and we're going to go to San Francisco, and oh, please, oh, please, I hope we come here, because I want you all to be able to play these games. But it's not just about carnival games. It's also about using these games and using the, the, the projects that we do to inspire all of you to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Because before the carnival comes to town, we roll into town with curriculum and projects and mentors. Let me tell you a little bit about the projects. So I know I'm not the first person to get up on this stage to ask who likes robots. Yeah, lots of, lots of people like robots. So we're building a musical robot kit. Anybody like music? Ooh. Anybody like music and robots? All right, there we go. That's good. I like to hear that. So a musical robot kit. So you get this musical robot kit and you and your friends and your parents and your teachers and your mentors all sit together and create a musical robot together. And then when the carnival shows up, you get up on stage and we are going to have a concert. And everybody's musical robot is going to play in, well, harmony? Maybe harmony. My musical robot doesn't make particularly good sounds yet, but I'm working on it, right? We've got a wearable technology fashion show. So you can use LEDs and motors and sensors and build your own wearable electronics. And then on stage, we have a wearable electronics fashion show. So we hope this carnival comes to town. Even if it doesn't, I want you to know that science, technology, engineering, art, and math are the most fun things in the world. Look at my face. I love this stuff. You can love it too. And it's not just a way of getting a good, high-paying job. It's a way of making any time you have to spend alone in your garage, tinkering with whatever happens to be around you, those times can be the most fun times in your life. So if you haven't already, find something to tinker on. Find a project that you want to make. Doesn't matter what it is, play. You won't regret it.